Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about IACS task flow. Um, so the, basically the different task under task flow and its usages uh, uh, with a simple and easy uh, use case we are going to have a discussion uh, part of our today agenda. So I took an example of uh, one simple uh, task flow implementation that is like um, uh, loading a country's uh, data uh, initially based on the country's data successfully loaded the decision task is used this is the data integrate data uh, data integration task uh, so uh, inside the data integration task you will see country's data processing uh, the mapping task so uh, this mapping task uh, uh, successful output will be verified here by the decision side so based on the decision side successful uh, with the run id is equal to one is successful uh, the parallel task is triggered here uh, that is like uh, the the data integration task of regions and data integration task of locations will be triggered and finally uh, those outputs uh, on successful uh, um, uh, 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 completion so you will see it is ended in case the decision is failed in the countryside data integration task is uh, failed uh, it will end the uh, end or terminate the task flow so this is what uh, the quick outflow so this is how it will look like uh, in the design side so what are whatever we saw is the uh, how it uh, ran successfully but this is the actual task flow we have defined okay so this is what uh, today's discussion let us jump into uh, uh, creating a task flow. I have already created a ma uh, mapping for uh, this country's regions and, and location and the corresponding mapping task as well created. Now we are going to straight away uh, introduce a task flow creation. Okay, so let us try to do that. So I'll go task flow <clears throat> and create a task flow here. So now you can see from the canvas start and end uh, uh, part of our task flow. So now first what we will try to introduce is data task flow here. Just a second. Okay. So this one we can name it as uh, MTM countries. Okay. And the data task we can select it countries which I've already defined it in my case okay and now so this is the data integration task we introduced as we saw okay then the, the subsequent thing we are going to introduce a decision task okay so here in decision task so what we are going to do is like we can we can check the decision of countries okay here what we can do is take the <coughs> output parameters of the data integration task and check the run id when we see when we check the run id is equal to one that means for successful so let us uh, check that one okay so now the decision also set so if the decision is successful what we are going to do is we are simply going to introduce the parallel task okay so here in the parallel task we can introduce the uh, region okay so here what we need to do is like simply call the task data task one here and mention the data task one here as integration here sorry region uh, uh, region the mapping task which i have defined it so on the next thing what we can do is the other parallel task we can introduce one more data task here okay so in this task one task two we can define location so okay so maybe we can give a meaningful name here so that we can relate what is the data integration task it's about uh, okay and similarly here also we can rename it Okay, so now okay, 
so now the parallel task was de defined so basically what we are trying to achieve is data integration task is countries and the countries uh, uh, data properly processed and the run id is equal to one is that is nothing but the successful so we are introducing the parallel task here in the parallel task you will see data integration task one with the region data loading it and so the second data integration task is the location to load it okay uh, so after processing it will go and complete with successful uh, the overall task flow in case of uh, uh, in case of uh, failure uh, of country's data loading uh, so uh, because the decision is in the else spot otherwise class what we can do is we can simply call the end so here uh, if you want to give um, if you want to mention if you want to give the meaningful name you can <coughs> failure or and similarly we can give success 200 200 is nothing but that success okay so now based on this thing so now or we can consider all this task flow implementation is completed successfully so as we uh, uh, dis, uh, means discuss in the beginning the country data integration task is uh, on successful completion and the data is properly populated and with the return id 1 is equal to success uh, we are introducing the parallel task and parallel task completion will consider as the task flow completed successfully otherwise uh, the country data failure in by any chance like so we can consider the task flow is terminated or failed okay let us save this task now and try to run it and go to the my jobs now so wait for it to complete So the task flow is completed successfully now now you can check the task flow okay so here uh, you can see in the design uh, the it is started successfully and the country's data have been loaded and the decision is uh, with a success Th that is the reason you are seeing the parallel task uh, have been kicked off uh, successfully with a location and region data have been loaded okay so that's it friends so now you can see uh, it has been successfully completed. Thanks friends uh, watching my video. Please subscribe my channel